Today's project for the micro orchard is to set up our irrigation system. So the past few weeks, we've actually been hand watering with both a hose and a bucket. But now that we have time um, and it's a beautiful day, we're gonna set up our drip irrigation system. So our main hose line is already hooked up. The only thing we have to add up top where the water comes out is this timer. We're gonna set this up to probably water twice a day for, I don't know, an hour or so, drip line. Uh, drip irrigation we'll see we're kind of going to play with that and see how it goes from there we've got the main hose line that we're going to connect to an inline filter and pressure regulator so that'll go into our splitter then we've got two of these adapters here to set up our two lines of drip then obviously we've got this huge thing of drip line that we're going to puncture ourselves it was really difficult to find 36 inch spacing drip line when we only need 200 feet or so. So we're gonna end up puncturing these ourselves and putting in all these little tiny drip emitters. And these are the six way ones that you can kind of twist to adjust how much water comes out of each one. So hopefully it'll piece together real nice. So this end will attach to the hose coming out of the spigot all the way down into this. So we'll connect this. Does this thing already have a filter in it? Yeah. Ooh. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm. You can also adjust the pressure, pressure with this little nozzle up here. Look, it's got an arrow even telling you where to go. This is pretty like malleable, so hopefully... I was trying to figure out if it was plastic or rubber. I think it's plastic. All right, so this is the part where I don't fully understand. This just connects into here. How does it keep it sealed, you know? I guess it has a little... I'm going to take this part off because this might be the hardest. So it wasn't that difficult. I just don't know how far I've got it on there. It's still moving slowly. So let's go head up to the spout and get it all hooked up. So we're still about 50 or 60 feet away from the trees, but the good thing about having our drip line that we can puncture is that we can put this attachment up here. We can save this hose down for the orchard area because we got some maple trees that we want to water and such and this way we don't have to puncture however we need a connector piece um i may have slightly dropped the ball here with our connections having the same ends we had to hold off on installing the inline filter and regulator we find the connection later in the video and we are able to hook up everything correctly in the meantime we start to unravel our drip line and measure out how much we will need today So the other one, if I just twisted, it went on pretty easily. Okay. Feels good in the shade. Good gracious. Okay, so what I've seen and what I've read is that you want to close your loop in order to make sure that we get water all the way through the drip line at whatever pressure we're looking at. So what I'm thinking is we go down one side, loop it back to the other side, then we'll go over the gap 12 feet, or yeah, 12 feet, then we'll go down, loop it back, and then go connect it to the splitter again. Sound good? Yeah. So let's move our hose. The yeah. gray hose so it's not all on top of each other and such. Just over here.
Right now we are cutting up 12 inch sections of leftover wire so we can use it to hold our drip lines in place. New tubing like this can be very hard to position correctly around your trees. However, this heavy 14 gauge wire worked perfectly and it was scrapped from our other fencing projects. All right, so we have our lines all set up here. One thing you'll know is that we had our flags set up because eventually we are going to bury this a few inches under the ground, put it in some pipe. That way, as we're driving across this two tracker here, it doesn't put pressure, potentially crack, et cetera, et cetera. Next thing we're gonna do before we get to test this out and see if everything is good to go is put in our trusty emitters. We've got 100 here, but we've got to do two per tree. So that'll be 60 total. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. The blue puncture tool made placing these emitters quite easy. However, we definitely don't want to hand install each emitter when we look to install irrigation for our 2,000 apple trees next year because it does take some time to do. Don't press, you kind of have to. I don't know how these things come out. If they spray up or? Yes. So you want them facing up? Yep. It'll be, it's like a six way. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight way. So you gotta kind of hold it firm on the sides here so it doesn't crush down as you're puncturing it. You really don't have to do it too hard. This thing acts kind of like a cutter. Should we test this before we do all 60? I kind of want to. And then this kind of pops in and you can feel when it's in there. We've got all of our emitters in. So now we are turning on the water. 
and making sure we don't have any leaks here. Once we see water coming out of this one, I'll turn it off. That way we know when it's flowing. Oh. All right, so there's a little bit of a leak around here, so we'll have to get some plumber's tape up there. All right, so we've got our connector here for our mail to mail. Is it mail to mail? I feel like it's mail to mail connection. Could be wrong, let me know. Uh, set up for our inline pressure regulator and filter. And I just read this here. This is a 25 PSI filter regulator and its max pressure is 20 PSI. That's interesting, but just has a little filter in it. Filter out any debris or what have you. And then I think what I've read and what I've watched is you just control this little knob here for pressure. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but what else? So let's make sure this is nice and tight here. Thank you. So we've got our trusty arrow here telling us which way to go. I'm walking back up. Copy that. Just a few more minutes. Feels pretty tight, it's got tight enough. All right, let's go back up top, turn the water on, check for leaks. Yeah. Lightning bug. Cause I don't, yeah, I don't think that tightens cause that's free spinning. I couldn't tell. All right, so now we gotta dial these bad boys in. Oh, too much. Oh, you know what? Hmm. When we tested them before, I only had six emitters. That's why there was so much pressure. Oh, okay. Now that we have 60 of them, there's a lot less pressure. I'm an idiot. So do they need to be closer? Or you just can turn them up no, more? No, yeah, we'll just turn them up more. What do you think? Yeah, like that. Yep, that's what I was thinking. This one moved on us a little bit. We know that one's a little far away. Wow, these are, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know if we're going to have to do them for an hour. I mean, they're really coming out. Well, you know what I mean? we want it to look at soak how... up, so if they flood, I might have to twist them down. Yeah, so yeah that's what I mean. This one's probably too much, right? Right, because it's, yeah, I agree. Because there's like a puddle, you mean? Yeah. We want them to have time to soak it all up. Not let it run down the hill? Yep. There, how's that? Even this one. A little bit less. Yeah, just a little. These ones look good. This one, the third tree. Oh. How's that? Good. Also, some of them might be closed. Actually, it looks like they all have some coming out at least. After only a few minutes of watering, we started to build up significant puddles of water, so we realized it was necessary to turn all the emitters down to the lowest volume of water, and this is what they all ended up looking like. 
Good morning, everyone. The last step for our irrigation is to bury our drip line. So this hose is actually pretty flimsy. Um, and so instead of just burying it, we're actually gonna put it in this PVC pipe that we picked up. Um, so today's last minute project is to dig a little bit of a trench, feed the hose through the PVC pipe, and then bury it to make sure that we can continue to drive on this two track. This is the one that leads to the wood boiler, so it's very heavily trafficked. So we wanna make sure that we're protecting our hose. It's supposed to rain today, so we're out here bright and early. Hopefully we're gonna get it done before the rain starts coming down. Wish us luck. Is that a yes or no? Yeah. Dirty. Lots of room there so we can easily move that. Our irrigation project is now complete and we beat the rain, so that's good. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to our channel, you do that and give us a like if you do like this content. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, always follow your dreams.